children welcome back once again i am dr jishajo in this video we shall start with a new chapter chemical coordination in plants in your lower classes you have studied about the different characteristics of living organisms and one of the most important characteristic of any living organisms is, is its ability to move we know both animals as well as plants move Animals can move their body parts as well as move from one place to another. But in the case of plants, we know plants are fixed at a place. Do plants show movement? Yes, plants exhibit movement. The movement exhibited by plants is in the form of growth. Plants exhibit growth movements. You can see the growth of the stem towards light. You can see the growth of the root towards soil or towards water you can see the twisting of the tendril onto a support for climbing so all these are movements exhibited by plants and these movements are called growth movements now why is this difference exhibited by plants and animals in movement this is because of their mode of nutrition we know animals have to move about in search of food because animals depend upon other organisms for their food Whereas if we take the case of plants, plants are fixed at a place, they need not move about in search of food. The reason is that plants can synthesize their own food using carbon dioxide and water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll by the process of photosynthesis. Now these growth movements in plants are controlled by certain external or internal factors. Any change in the external or internal environment of an organism is called as stimulus. And the action exhibited by an organism towards the stimulus is called as response. So if we take the example of the bending of the stem towards light. Here light is the stimulus and response is the change in the organism towards this stimulus that is the bending of the stem towards light. So from this we have understood that plants exhibit movement and the movements shown by plants is mainly in the form of growth. So the responses shown by plants in the form of growth is not as fast as that taking place in the case of animals because in the case of animals a nervous system is present. Whereas in the case of plants, we know a nervous system is absent in plants. It is because of certain chemical coordination taking place inside the plants, these responses occur in the plants. These chemical substances which are produced in the plants are called as hormones. So what are hormones? Hormones are chemical substances that are produced in the plants at particular place and are transported all throughout the plant and their action is at a site away from the place of origin. So once again, hormones are chemical substances that are produced at a particular region in the plant and are transported all around the plant and their action is at a site away from the site of their production. So these uh, chemical substances or hormones present in plants are called called as phytohormones. So what are phytohormones? Hormones that are present in plants are called as phytohormones. And the term hormone was coined by two persons, William Bevis and Ernest Starling. William Bevis and Ernest Starling. The term hormone was coined by William Bayless and Ernest Starling in the year 1902. And we have already seen that the hormones present in plants are called phytohormones and the main way in which plants respond to these hormones is by means of growth. Where do growth occur in plants? It is at the meristems. Meristems, what are meristems? Meristems are present at the growing tips or the growing regions of the plant. You can see meristematic tissue. So these hormones produce their action at the meristems. 
and that is the reason why plants exhibit movement in the form of growth. Now, certain hormones can stimulate the growth of the plant or promote the growth of the plant. Such hormones which can stimulate the growth of the plant are called as plant growth promoters. Promoters, they can promote or enhance or stimulate the growth of the plant. Whereas in the case of, of certain other hormones, they inhibit the growth of the plant. Such hormones or phytohormones which inhibit the growth of the plant are called as inhibitors. Now there are five main classes of phytohormones. They are auxins, gibberellins, cytokinins, ethylene and abscisic acid. So these are the five main classes of phytohormones and we have already seen hormones are of two types plant growth promoters which promote the growth of the plant and plant growth inhibitors which inhibit the growth of the plant. There are five classes of phytohormones, auxins, gibberellins, cytokinins, ethylene and abscisic acid. Of which the first three that is auxins, gibberellins and cytokinins are growth promoters. They enhance the growth of the plant. Whereas abscisic acid is a growth inhibitor. It inhibits the growth of the plant. Ethylene can act both as a growth promoter as well as a growth inhibitor. I hope this much is clear to all of you. If you have any doubts regarding what we have studied today, please ask your doubts and give your suggestions in the comment section.